Hello viewers, welcome to yet another episode of our YouTube tutorial videos. I want to thank you for staying with us this far and I hope you are enjoying our stay as we learn through the use of uh, Archicad to design various building components. So in our today's tutorial video, I'm going to take you through how to use the trim element tool which is mostly used to uh, resize uh, wall sections and uh, various uh, building elements that are usually overlapping and uh, giving your design uh, a kind of weird uh, facade. So in this case I have a design that I'm working on here and uh, most of the times I come to realize that there are instances where my walls will be overlapping the roof and there is always need to make them uh, look more presentable by trimming the the hedges so that they can align themselves to the entire roof height and uh, roof design so <coughs> with me here i will first start by uh, going to the uh, the 3d part of the the design of course we have the the floor plan and so i'll have the the 3d the, the 3d section where the first thing to do is to select first number one all the walls uh, and uh, do it simultaneously together with the the roof of the house so that at the end of it all you'll be able to uh, align those uh, sections well so the the first thing i'll do is to select all the youtube i'll do it one by one so that you can be able to see of course there is a way in which you can select all of them but i'll select one by one so that we don't miss any of those uh, walls so i'll i'll first uh, click on one wall then i'll select the shift button so that i can be able to select all the walls that i want so i'll select that wall and uh, i'll select the entire roof then I'll go to the next wall bit by bit sorry for that my let me rotate it well first so I'll start by selecting this wall So you, so you make sure that you can be able to see all the all the walls you ha that is you have them in your view then I'll use the rotate uh, tool here to, to to rotate the other side of the building then I'll escape I'll see whether I have selected all those walls so I can go ahead and, and, and trim and then see anyone that is remaining so that I I'll, can I'll just proceed on with that so I'll go to the uh, the tool the, the tool panel and then I'll go to the trim elements to roof stock shell then I'll click on it then there's a dial box that will come here then I'll, I'll select the use roof stroke shells from the current selection then I'll just go ahead and uh, click on trim so you'll see that there are sections that have been trimmed and that is what I was talking about so you can be able to proceed with the rest that are still overlapping adjust at your pace so I'll I'll go to the I'll select this wall sorry select on it then control select on another one remember it is the entire roof select on another wall and that one and there's also this one that is remaining the sorry that one and then select that one then I'll go to the trim tool 
stream escape see which one is still remaining i can see a few you can still rotate of course these ones are behind the structure mm. so i'll i'll click on it and click on this wall sorry that one is already trimmed so i'll click on that uh, select the shift button click on uh, press it then you click on the next wall i can also see another one here then you finally click on the the entire roof so i can rotate and see whether all the overlapping oh there is one that is remaining So I believe uh, that is the the final look of how the structure will look like after having trimmed the walls in shape. You can also just rotate it just to ensure that uh, no roof is overlapping or going beyond the the roof. No, sorry, no wall is overlapping to go beyond the roof. So I believe that is now uh, sorted out, and that is how to you can utilize your your wall tool to ensure that your design is in check. So that marks the end of our lesson today. I believe you have learned something about uh, the trim tool, and uh, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly co consider subscribing so that we can get updates on our when we get our next uh, youtube video so that you might not miss the upcoming video tutorials that we'll be putting up in this channel for now thank you and have a good day